Hello, good morning guys. So this is our fourth video for property plant and equipment mode of acquisition and this time we will be discussing issuance of bonds. So issuance of bonds. So pag inacquire po natin ang PPE by issuing bonds, ito po ang mangyayari. The asset would be debited, meaning the PPE item, if it's a machine, machinery, debit machinery would be equal to the following in order of priority. So alam naman natin ang rule ng priority, di ba? From the previous discussion. So, the priority, number one, ang hahanapin mo po, if the bonds have a fair value. And then, uh, may fair value ba ang asset na natanggap natin? And then lastly, if wala talaga ang dalawang priority, dun ka sa pinaka last recourse natin. What is the face value of the liability issued or the bonds? Okay, so bonds is something that's actually familiar to you. And ito po sila. My name is Bond. James Bond. I joke. Ito po ang bonds. So to put it simply, ang bonds po ay long-term liabilities wherein there are two parties, the issuer and the holder. Kapag ako ay mag-issue ng bonds, that means ako po ay nangungutang. This is comparable to issuance of promissory note kapag nangungutang po ang isang issuer. So on to illustration tayo. And again, to emphasize, the way we value property acquired by issuing bonds is through a hierarchy. So the rule is in order of priority, which number one is the fair value of the bonds. Second priority. Take note that we will only use the second priority, which is the fair value of the machine, if the fair value of the bonds cannot be determined. So the fair value of the machine and our problem and lastly if neither the fair value of the bonds or the fair value of the machine is available that would be the only time that you will use the face value of the bonds. Okay, so yun na po ang rules. Ano ulit? Priority, hanapin mo si fair value of the bonds. Pag wala yan, fair value of the asset. And then pag wala naman si fair value of the asset, dun ka lang pupunta sa face value of the bonds. Simple, right? Now examining this problem, if everything is given, alin po ang gagamitin, sir? First priority tayo. Doon tayo sa fair value of the bonds. Okay, so, itong questions na to, na nasa baba, they are situational. Pero if I'm going to take this problem in a holistic sense, tapos tatanungin lang ako na what is the initial measurement of the property, plant, and equipment, ang sagot po natin dyan is 850,000 purchase price plus directly attributable costs. And directly attributable cost natin are 20,000 transportation and 60,000 site preparation. Okay, requirements. Fair value of the bonds ang gagamitin to record the acquisition. Take note that number one is preferred here. Kasi ito po yung number one sa ating priority list. So the requirements for number one. So as you can see, the machine is debited for 850000 in purchase price and the bonds payable are credited at its face value. Uh, bonds will not be discussed yet at the moment. You will be taking that up when you, when you go to intact 3. Next, of course, the directly attributable costs will be included and that would total us with a cost of the machine equal to 930,000. And now on to requirement 2. Journal entry to record the acquisition using the fair value of the machine. Okay, in order to illustrate this properly, we will need to 
modify the problem a little in a what if scenario. What if, what if the fair value of the bonds could not be determined? Okay, what if that was not given at all? Like the acquisition is through issuance of 1,000 bonds with a face or par value of 1 million. So, assume natin na walang fair value. Walang fair value. Your answers to requirement 2, using the fair value of the machine, 1,200,000. Ito po si fair value of the machine. And then of course, the directly attributable costs. Notice here that the bonds are still credited at its face value. Again, the accounting for bonds, I will be discussing it if I will be your teacher for intact 3. Pero not now. Uh, know that the excess is either a discount or a premium on bonds payable. So, wala kang problema pag issuance sa bonds kasi po ang debit mo is kung ano ang nasa priority. Take note of the three priorities. Ito po yung i-debit natin dito. And then, yung credit mo sa bonds payable is always its face value. And whatever is their difference, it's either debit, discount, or credit, premium. So, that gives us a total of 1,280 if we are going to use the fair value of the machine. Requirement number three. Ito pang last resort. If the fair value of the bonds are not given, and if the fair value of the asset could not be determined, what if wala ito? Answers for requirement three, wala po tayong problema as we use the face value of the bonds. That would be your credit and as well your debit. With the machine, directly attributable costs, you would end up with a total cost of the machine of 1,080,000. ,000. So that's it for this video. See you again on the next one. Have a good day and thank you for watching.